I am Adil Kumar. We are trying to learn operations with monomials. In this video, we will learn how to divide monomials with an application. The question here is, square is inscribed in a semicircle. Find the ratio of the area of the semicircle to the area of the square. So let me sketch it and then we'll discuss. So let's say this is the semicircle for us. And in this semicircle, we will inscribe a square. Okay, so that's the center. Now, if we inscribe a square, uh, let me be a bit careful in making it. It probably looks more or less like a square. But assume that all the sides are equal as they should be for a square. So what I'm trying to say here is that this side is equal to, to this side, right? So these two sides are equal. So square is inscribed, it is within, with all the vertices touching the points on the semicircle. Find the ratio of area of the semicircle to the area of the square. So what you need to find is ratio of area of semicircle, let me draw a semicircle like this, over area of square right so this is what you need to find so i hope it is the question is very clear to you you can pause the video answer and then look into my suggestions now uh, let us uh, say that the radius of this semicircle is r in that case if i join these two points then this distance should be r right so this, let me call this O, the center of this semicircle. And let's call this point as P and this point here. The perpendicular from P to the base or the diameter of this semicircle be Q. Now that should make 90 degrees, right? Okay. Even otherwise, square, all sides are at right angles. Correct. Now, can you relate this with side length? Well, let us say that the side length is 2x. In that case, this is like half. I mean, so th this one is half from here to here, and that is 2x. So all sides are equal, so this is also 2x, but this one is kind of half of the whole length, right? So we have assumed this to be 2x. Each side of the square is 2x, so this is half, so I'll write x for it. So OQ is X, PQ is 2X. Now with this, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem and relate X with R. So what we have here is X squared plus 2X squared equals to R squared. And that gives us, I mean, 2X both should be within brackets, the whole length squared, correct? So that gives us X squared plus 4x square equals to r square, that is 5x square is r square. Now, so that is the relation between r square and 5x square. The question is area of a semicircle. So what is the area of semicircle? Area of a semicircle is half the area of the full circle, which is pi r square, correct? over area of square. What is the area of square? Area of a square is you have to multiply the length with the width. Both are 2x, 2x times 2x and that gives you 4x square, correct? So that is the area. So from all this, we can now write down area of a semicircle over area of square. Area of semicircle is half pi r square let me write down half pi r square divided by area of square is 4 x square 4 x square now from here we have two different variables and we also found a relation between them that is the relation correct r square is 5 x square correct so we can replace r square with 5 x square let me first simplify it a bit more. Half can be written in the denominator as, this could be written as pi r square divided by 8x square. Is it okay? So we multiply the denominator by 2. So one and the same thing. 
Now we can replace r square with 5x square, correct? So what we get here is pi times 5x square divided by 8x square x square x square can be cancelled so we have the relation and uh, which is let me write down here now 5 by 8 pi so 5 by 8 pi becomes the ratio of area of these two shapes correct so that is how actually you can solve such questions so the idea is try to make a sketch relate your variables which you have defined and find a way to write one variable in the other variable that is what we say relate the variable once you've done that then it's kind of simpler it's just dividing monomials and that is why we have placed this example in operations with monomials so we are also learning how to divide monomials i hope this exercise helps you in solving similar questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.